Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Ashuruk TV. Today's story is government armed struggle movement, new negotiations on national issues. Sudan, Egypt, and Ethiopia to discuss Renaissance Dam filling. Sudan Friends Conference held in Berlin. The government delegation to the peace negotiations led by Mohammed Al Hassan Al Taishi, the member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, the delegation's spokesman, and the armed struggle movement held a negotiation session via video conference in the Salam Rotana Hotel in Khartoum and the Crown Hotel in Juba in the presence of the South Sudan's mediation. The two parties continued today during the session the negotiations on the national issues during which a significant progress was made in the files. Meanwhile, the two sides will hold a session tomorrow afternoon on the same issues to reach an agreement on them. The Sudan's People's Liberation Movement, North SPLMN, led by Abdelaziz Adam al Hilo, announced its intention to return to the peace negotiation table in Juba after an absence of more than two months since last February due to its demand for secularism and the right to self-determination for the people of the Nuba Mountains and the Blue Nile. The head of the movement's negotiating delegation, Ammar Amun, said in a press statement after the meeting they held with the South Sudanese mediation that the SPLMN will return to the negotiating discuss other issues with the Sudanese government, provided that the protocols of the right to self-determination and secularism will be discussed in the last negotiating rounds. Irrigation ministers of Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan hold a teleconference on Tuesday for further talks on the filling of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GRED. The meeting is a result of a series of bilateral consultations by Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok with the Ethiopian and Egyptian counterparts to resume tripartite negotiations on the pending issues. The virtual meeting comes on the backdrop of the recent draw over the filling of the GERD reservoir. Sudan and Egypt pointed to the need of reaching an agreement on this process before its launch, while Ethiopia resolved to start the process next July in any case. Minister of Culture and Information, the government spokesman Faisal Mohammed Saleh, has announced the completion of arrangements for holding Sudan Friends Conference due to be held in the German capital Berlin at the end of this month with the, uh, the sphere as a result of the conditions of the corona pandemic. And in a brief briefing in the cabinet following meeting of the council, Faisal noted that the conference was prepared through 10 previous meetings inside and outside Sudan while Germany has agreed to host it at the end of this month, indicating that it would be with wide international participation, expecting the announcement of partners' contributions during the conference to make the economic reform program successful. The Defence Minister, Major General Yassin Ibrahim, has affirmed his determination to work hard and consistently to fulfil the obligations of the Ministry of Defence and the tasks entrusted to the Ministry within the government programme to achieve the goals of the glorious December Revolution and the transitional period in cooperation with the Cabinet. The Minister of Culture and Information, the government spokesman, Faisal Mohammed Saleh, noted in a press briefing after the Cabinet meeting that the Council has the Minister of Defence and wish him success in carrying out the great tasks entrusted to the Ministry of Defence. The government spokesman said that the Minister of Defence has great tasks and responsibilities in the framework of achieving the goals of the revolution, stressing that the Minister of Defence stressed his readiness to cooperate with his fellow ministers to implement the great tasks of the Ministry of Defence and the Council of Ministers. The government has appreciated the support of the United Nations since the start of the glorious December Revolution, stressing its aspiration for more support to achieve the goals of the transitional period. In a statement issued by the Council of Ministers, the government has affirmed its immediate start to implement the national plan to protect civilians stipulated in the Security Council resolution based on the fact that the government of Sudan is responsible for protecting its citizens. The statement has tackled the mandate of the mission, the nature of its tasks, and the time period for the end of the mission, confirming that the mission is free of any military components. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, 
based on the recommendation of the Minister of Agriculture and National Resources, issued a decision today appointing Dr. Omar Muhammad al faqi as governor of a Jazeera scheme. The decision has given directives to the Ministers of Finance, Economic Planning, Agriculture and Natural Resources, a Jazeera project, Labour, Social Development and other concerned parties to take the measures to implement the decision. The Northern State Governor Caretaker, Major General Muhammad Muhammad Al Hassan Al Saouri, received today in a Dabba locality in the presence of a number of members of his government and the State Security Committee the medical convoy of the Rapid Support Forces in support for the Northern State to confront the coronavirus pandemic under the motto Your Health is Part of the Homeland Security. The Governor of the State, in his address to the convoy, praised the efforts and support of the Rapid Support Forces led by the Deputy Chairman of the Transitional Sovereign Council, the leader of the Rapid Support Forces, Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu, and its support for the efforts of the Northern State to combat the corona pandemic, as well as its role in serving community issues, noting that the state prepared an integrated program for the success of the convoy. And now we remind you with the headlines. Government armed struggle movements continue negotiations on national issues. Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia to discuss Renaissance land filling. Sudan Friends Conference to be held in Berlin. That was everything from Shuruk TV. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.